Thank you for joining me. Standing in the Gap for America. Good morning. We're praying for America today. Every morning we come to the state capitol. Every if Sunday morning. People, I'm Thank you, Jesus. We'll humble themselves and pray. Seek my Hallelujah. face and turn from their wicked ways. I'll hear from heaven, I'll forgive sin, and I Thank will you, hear the land. The Bible if gives us a promise. Calling, Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll hear us. From Thank you for joining me standing in the gap, I'll praying for America. Heaven, Every day we're I'll praying for America. Sin, Every Sunday morning I walk the grounds land. of the state capitol. Praying for 40,000 different ministries. They'll be preaching, fellowshipping, and worshiping in just another hour or so. We're here before sunrise. You know they call this dawn. Dawn is that period of time just before the sun rises. In another 20 minutes, the sun will be up. It'll be glorious. But it's still dark outside. It's very cold dawn. In less than 10 days, there'll be an election in America. Some people say there's as many as 85% of all Americans are born again believers. Some say it's 80, 75, 70%. Well, here's what I know. God's put salt on the earth. You are the light of the world greatest tragedy in America is how few Christians actually vote. How many fail to use the right of freedom to vote. Oh, I want to encourage you to be praying for America, but I want to encourage you to be voting. There are so many that will whine and complain and never go to the polls. This is your hour. This is your hour to call upon the name of the Lord and to seek his face and to pray. To kneel at the pew this morning and pray for America. But in another week or so, you have a responsibility, a God-given assignment to go to the polls. And with a prayerful heart, the Holy Spirit speak through you. Will you do it? Will you listen to the Lord? Will you obey his voice? We are praying for America this morning. Father God, we lift up the United States of America across this land, Lord Jesus. Bring unity to a broken nation. Bring healing to a very, very sick body. We pray for revival in America. And right here in the state of California, we pray for 40,000 ministries. Many will be in their sanctuary today, but many more will still be closed. They'll be meeting in parks. They'll be meeting in a church parking lot. Many will be online. We pray the anointing of the Holy Spirit on every pastor, preacher, teacher, we pray for every worship leader that they will bring people into the presence of God and there would be an outpouring of praise and worship today. Oh, move through 40,000 ministries in the state of California today. Bless your people, I pray. Let your grace go before them. Let your face shine upon them. If my people I'm calling will come in Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's cold outside. The sun hasn't come up. But I have good news for you. The sun is going to rise. In less than 20 minutes, the sun is going to rise. It's going to be warm. And that's what's going to happen in America. Revival is coming. The light is coming. God is going to pour out His Spirit upon every family, 
upon every church, upon every ministry across this land. I know God is moving. I know God is working. Continue to pray. Continue to seek his face. As I continue to march around the grounds of the state capitol, praying for our state, praying for our churches, praying for every ministry. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God loves you. So do I, and I'm praying for you. Be blessed.